So let's go to the Authenticit Aircraft Factory, which is currently making a DR400 trim wheel using my trusty Ender 3. It's probably the most popular 3D printer around, mainly as it only costs around $170. It works by printing one layer at a time, then moving the print head up a fractional amount and printing the next layer. The layer height I use is 0.12mm which makes printing a bit slower than it can be, but it has the precision for mounting small electronic components and printing the threads for screws, which makes for much easier assembly of parts. You might also notice that the parts are not solid, but they have a honeycomb interior. It means they're still strong, but use relatively small amounts of material compared to a completely solid part. Printing material called filament is also cheap, with a kilogram costing under $20 and a kilogram's more than enough for everything in this kit. Well, here we go. Hot off the printer. These things pop straight off. They are printed without any rim and uh, on a glass bed. And if you're careful not to touch anything, off they come. And there is our collection of prints for the day. And now we are ready to turn these 3D printed parts into a DR400 trim wheel. We just need a few more items that come with the kit. A very sturdy sealed bearing, a rotary encoder, a cork disc and a network socket. And two more parts I printed later, a case and a lid. OK, let's start with this chap. This tiny thing is where all the work happens. It's called a rotary encoder and it works like a pair of push buttons. Rotate it one way and it's like you are quickly tapping a button. Turn it the other way to simulate tapping another button. There are the usual three pins on the back and depending which way you're turning you get a signal between the middle and either the left or the right pin. So, we will pop it inside this base. Bend in these legs, as we don't want these, they get in the way. And push the pins down inside the channels. Now, we will stick a cork disc on the front. This is going to provide our adjustable friction. Next, the bearing, which slots onto this centre spindle. And into this case. We screw the two parts together and adjust for friction. Too much there. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's nice. Maybe a fraction less. Good, good, good. This, this unit is what I call an REN 6003, as it uses this fairly hefty 6003 sealed bearing. It can be used in any trim wheel or similar device. And I'll be sharing the design of these components separately to help others build controls for other aircraft. Now we'll turn it into a DR400 trim wheel by adding this nice knurled edge trim wheel. Tight fitting knurled edge trim wheel. And a retaining hubcap. Okay, 
There's our trim wheel. Just two more steps remain. Wire it up and fit it inside its case. I'm going to skip the wiring for another video, but basically it's little more than a push fit of the wires into these channels. I will plug in the network socket though. That just goes in here. Okay, nice and snug. And again, it's push fit of the wires into these channels and clamp them down. And here is our REN 6003 with wires attached. Yellow, black, green is the standard sequence. So let's bolt this into the trim case. Wires at the bottom. Once you've got the first one in, the, the others are easier to find. There we go. Okay, here we are with the wires in the network socket. Uh, again, it's very easy, but I'll take more time over another video. Uh, it's little more than putting the wires inside the, uh, the channels and then clamping them in place. And then that network socket goes back into its hole. A little bit of pressure on the back there to get the peg in. And now let's put our base to our lid and bolt that down and we are very nearly there. Quick lid, number one, number two. We use a lot of these, fortunately very cheap, M4 six millimeter long countersunk screws with a Phillips head. And that is a DR400 trim wheel. And now finally, I can put in my authentic DR400 trim wheel instead of this turbo arrow that I've been using for a little while. Let's take out the turbo arrow and plug it. DR400. And in we go. Fully functional. And you can see for other aircraft, it could be another design of wheel. We've got the trim wheel here for a Spitfire Mark 9. We just need to mount this console unit to the left hand side for that.